Ethosuximide, sold under the brand name Zorontin among others, is a medication used to treat absent seizures. It may be used by itself or with other anti-seizure medications such as valproic acid. Ethosuximide is taken by mouth. Side effects are generally minimal. Common side effects include loss of appetite, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and feeling tired. Serious side effects include suicidal thoughts, low blood cell levels, and lupus erythematosus. It is unclear if use during pregnancy or under the age of 3 is safe for the baby. Ethosuximide is in the succinamide family of medications. How exactly it works is unclear. Ethosuximide was approved for medical use in the United States in 1960. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the most effective and safe medicines needed in a health system. Ethosuximide is available as a generic medication. The wholesale cost in the developing world is about US$27.77 per month. In the United States the wholesale cost as of 2016 is about US$41.55 per month for a typical dose. Medical uses it is approved for absent seizures. 2. Ethosuximide is considered the first choice drug for treating absent seizures in part because it lacks the idiosyncratic hepatotoxicity of the alternative anti absence drug, valproic acid. 3. Adverse effects Central nervous system Common Drowsiness Mental confusion Insomnia Headache Ataxia Rare Paranoid psychosis Increased libido Exacerbation of depression Gastrointestinal Dyspepsia Vomiting Nausea Cramps Constipation Diarrhea Stomach pain Loss of appetite Weight loss Gum enlargement Swelling of tongue Genitourinary Microscopic hematuria Vaginal bleeding Blood The following can occur with or without bone marrow loss Pancytopenia Agranulocytosis Leukopenia Eosinophilia Skin Urticaria Systemic lupus erythematosus Stevens-Johnson syndrome Hirsutism Pruritic erythematous rashes Eyes Myopia Complications Abnormal liver function Drug interactions Valproates can either decrease or increase the levels of ethosuximide, however, combinations of valproates and ethosuximide had a greater protective index than either drug alone. 4. It may elevate serum phenytoin levels. Mechanism of action the mechanism by which ethosuximide affects neuronal excitability includes block of T-type calcium channels, and may include effects of the drug on other classes of ion channel. The primary finding that ethosuximide is a T-type calcium channel blocker gained widespread support, but initial attempts to replicate the finding were inconsistent. Subsequent experiments on recombinant T-type channels in cell lines demonstrated conclusively that ethosuximide blocks all T-type calcium channel isoforms. 
Significant T-type calcium channel density occurs in dendrites of neurons, and recordings from reduced preparations that strip away this dendritic source of T-type calcium channels may have contributed to reports of ethosuximide ineffectiveness. In March 1989 Coulter, Huguenard and Prince showed that ethosuximide and dimethodione, both effective anti-absence agents, reduced low-threshold Ca2 plus currents in T-type calcium channels in freshly removed thalamic neurons. Five, in June of that same year, they also found the mechanism of this reduction to be voltage-dependent, using acutely dissociated neurons of rats and guinea pigs. It was also noted that valproic acid, which is also used in absence seizures, did not do that. Six, the next year, they showed that anticonvulsant succinamides did this and that the proconvulsant ones did not. 7. The first part was supported by Koschuk et al. in 1992, who reported a substantial reduction in current in dorsal root ganglia at concentrations ranging from 7 micromole per liter to 1 mmol. L. 8. That same year, however, Harrington and Lingle found no such effect at concentrations of up to 2.5 mmol. L. 9. The year after, a study conducted on human neocortical cells removed during during surgery for intractable epilepsy, the first to use human tissue, found that ethosuximide had no effect on Ca2 plus currents at the concentrations typically needed for a therapeutic effect. 10. In 1998, Slobodan M. Todorovic and Christopher J. Lingle of Washington University reported a 100% block of T-type current in dorsal root ganglia at 23.7 plus or minus 0.5 mmol, L, far higher than Koschuk reported, 11 that same year, Lersch et all, reported that ethosuximide had no effect on T-type currents, but did decrease non-inactivating Na plus current by 60% and the Ca2 plus activated K plus currents by 39.1 plus or minus 6.4% in rat and cat thalamocortical cells. It was concluded that the decrease in Na plus current is responsible for the anti-absence properties. 12. In the introduction of a paper published in 2001, Dr. Juan Carlos Gamora and colleagues at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville pointed out that past studies were often done in isolated neurons that had lost most of their T-type channels. 13. Using cloned alpha-1G, alpha-1H, and alpha-1I T-type calcium channels, Gamora. S team found that ethosuximide blocked the channels with an IC50 of 12 plus or minus 2 mmol L and that of N desmethylmethsuximide. The active metabolite of mesuximide is 1.95 plus or minus 0.19 mmol L for alpha 1G, 1.82 plus or minus 0.16 mmol L for alpha 1I, and 3.0 plus or minus 0.3 mmol L. L for alpha-1H. It was suggested that the blockade of open channels is facilitated by ethosuximide. S physically plugging the channels when current flows inward. Availability Ethosuximide is marketed under the trade names Emside and Zorontin. However, both capsule preparations were discontinued from production, leaving only generic preparations available. M-side capsules were discontinued by their manufacturer, Laboratories for Applied Biology, in 2005. Similarly, Zorontin capsules were discontinued by Pfizer in 2007. Syrup preparations of both brands remained available. Stereochemistry Ethosuximide is a chiral drug with a stereocenter. Therapeutically, the racemate, the 1 to 1 mixture of S and R isomers used. See also Fensuximide, Methsuximide. References Notes Carrot Patsalos, PN, November 2005. Properties of Antiepileptic Drugs in the Treatment of Idiopathic Generalized Epilepsies. Epilepsia. 46, S9, 140-144. doi, 10.1111, j.1528-1167.2001.0001. x. PMID 16302888. Carrot Pharmaceutical Associates, Incorporated, 2000. Ethosuximide Approval Label. 
PDF, Label and Approval History, Food and Drug Administration Center for Drug Evaluation and Research. Retrieved 5 February 2006. Carrot Katzing, B., ed. 2003. Drugs Used in Generalized Seizures. Basic and Clinical Pharmacology, 9th ed. Lang Medical Books, McGraw-Hill. ISBN 0071410929. Carrot Andrelonis, P. A., J. Donnelly, B. C. Gluck, C. F. Strobel, B. L. Shebeck, November 1980. Preliminary Data on Ethosuximide and the Episodic Discontrol Syndrome. American Journal of Psychiatry. 137, 11, 1455-6. AJP.137.11.1455. PMID 7435689. Carrot Coulter D.A., Huguenard Jr., Prince D.A., March 13, 1989. Specific fatigue mal anticonvulsants reduce calcium currents in thalamic neurons. Neurosci Let. 98, 74 to 8. doi 10.1016-0304-3940-89-90376-5. PMID 2,710,401. Carrot Coulter D. A., Huguenard Jr., Prince D. A., June 1989. Characterization of ethosuximide reduction of low threshold calcium current in thalamic neurons. Annals of Neurology. 25, 6, 582-93. Doi 10.1002 Anna.4102506610 PMID 2,545,161. Carrot Coulter D A Huguenard Jr. Prince D A August 1990. Differential effects of fatigue mal anticonvulsants and convulsants on thalamic neurons. Calcium current reduction. British Journal of Pharmacology. 104, 8 to 6. doi 10.1111/j.1476-5381.1990.tb1495 x. PMC 1,917,607. PMID 2,169,941. Karat Kostchuk P.G., Molokanova E.A., Pranchik N.F., Savchenko N., Verkrotsky N., December 1992. Different action of ethosuximide on low and high threshold calcium currents in rat sensory neurons. Neuroscience. 51 4, 755-8. doi 10.1016-0306-4522-92-90515-4. PMID 1,336,826. Carrot Harrington J. Lingle C. J. July 1992. Kinetic and pharmacological properties of low voltage activated Ca2 plus current in rat clonal GH3 pituitary cells. Journal of Neurophysiology 68 1, 213 to 32. PMID 1,325,546. Carrot Sayer R. J., Brown A. M., Schwint P. C., Krill We. Calcium Currents in Acutely Isolated Human Neocortical Neurons. Journal of Neurophysiology. 1993 May, 69, 5, 1596 1596 PMID 8,389,832 Full Text. Carat Todorovich S. M., Lingle C. J., January 1, 1998. Pharmacological properties of T-type Ca2 plus current in adult rat sensory neurons, effects of anticonvulsant and anesthetic agents. Journal of Neurophysiology. 79, 1, 240-52. PMID 9425195. Carat Lersh N., Pari H. R., Erdem Le G., Guyan A., Turner J. P., Williams Sr., Aspardini E., Crunelli V., July 1, 1998. On the action of the anti-absence drug ethosuximide in the rat and cat thalamus. 
Journal of Neuroscience, 1813, 4842-53. PMID 9634550. Carat Gamora J. C., Dodden, Weyergraber M., Perez Reyes E. 2001. Block of Cloned Human T-Type Calcium Channels by Succinamide Antiepileptic Drugs. Molecular Pharmacology. 65, 1121-32. PMID 11641441. Carat Bourgeois, B. F., December 1988. Combination of valproate and ethosuximide, antiepileptic and neurotoxic interaction. The Journal of Pharmacology and Experimental Therapeutics. 247 3, 1128-32. PMID, 3144596. External links Ethosuximide Internet Mental Health Medline Plus Drug Information, Ethosuximide Oral Zorontin Pfizer Zorontin Drug Information, Published Studies and Current Trials